Matt and Tara, Mike at Lakeshore RV. Gonna do a quick walkthrough video on your 210 URS Outback camper starting up front here. Um, I do have a little bit of storage in here. There's a battery disconnect. If you do not want to be pulling off your battery, make sure you hit that disconnect. Um, we're gonna do the outside first. See the docking lights bright on the front there. Uh, power tongue jack, extend, retract, light off on, LP tanks behind it, 12 volt marine grade interstate battery. This is the switch for the docking lights. Coming around the side, we have the cargo door. Your vehicle information right up there. Uh, down here, control for a stabilizer jack. I'm gonna extend it for just a second. See so you're popping down there. Um, also down here, we have your uh, black tank and your gray tank flush. So the valves are open. So when you're flushing, it's important they're open. When you're not, it's important they're closed. Um, and obviously the cap is off of that there. Um, when you are, when you do empty those, and there's a, a flush valve, so you're gonna hook water up to this. You wanna make sure those valves are open because we're gonna be flushing out gray and, and sewage water um, that needs somewhere to go. So it would have to come through there. If, it, if those aren't open, it will come up through the toilet. We don't want that. You don't want that. Uh, <laughs> exhaust, uh, it does get hot, little hot label on there. Your 30, uh, 30 amp electric. This is your uh, multi-source signal controller for your cable and uh, satellite. Uh, this is your six gallon hot water heater here. Uh, fresh or portable water, as they call it, you can take right here, fill that up. Um, this is your city. When you're camping, this is where you wanna hook up. Down here we have another stabilizer jack, same thing. I'll extend it for a moment. There she comes. Okay. And those are not designed for lifting the camper, just for stabilizing it. Um, we see the rear slide with the king size bed in it. Uh, but beneath that, um, I do have the tire, spare tire, laid down. Um, the reason I did that, I had to take this pin and this lock out so I could access this storage panel in the back. Okay, coming back around to the camping side. We have a backer for your television, uh, hookups down there speakers okay i'm gonna head in um straight to the control panel your slide out in out awning extend retract ceiling lights the awning lights um those are see that light there okay and then the night light I'm not sure where the night light is. I'll have to goof around with that a little bit more. Um, the light that did not shut off is going to be a pop light where you just, um, I'll show you when I, I get up there. Uh, thermostat can scroll through it. It's going to be just like yours at home. Fan low, fan high. Cool high, cool low. Cool auto. Heat. Okay. Refrigerator opens from this side. It's locked down there. We're going to open it. Freezer looks very nice and completely unused. Same with the fridge. Open this up, check that out. Drawer. Ah, uh, fuse box. Jackknife sleeper sofa. Booth dinette. Uh, table or table legs. We they had stored uh, just down under here, or under that seat. Either is your choice. Rear of the camper. Okay. And then I did um, pull these down. Very nice. Completely black the unit out. Does have the television installed in it. Um, over here to your sink. Farm style. Mm -hmm. Removable faucet. Open these doors. Sound system, it's gonna play uh, DVDs on the television, CD players, does have indoor outdoor speakers as I showed you. Um, nice nice amount of storage underneath the sink and a little garbage can. Some goodies for you, some 
some more goodies for you and a nice drawer okay open this up a little bit of storage down there the oven sorry if you have mo get motion sickness i don't mean to make you sick uh your microwave i'm gonna fire up uh the stove here give it some gas i'm gonna give them all gas and we're gonna go just like your grill at home okay and i'm gonna turn around the bathroom fancy porcelain toilet with a foot flush single vanity sink you do have some storage down underneath there for some towels and a little bit more there um vanity your shower and we got your vent open and fan working okay guys i think that is it of course if you have any questions on friday save them for me if i can't answer them my service guys can um thank you again so much and we will see you in a couple of days thanks matt and tara